In my last video, I shared with you guys three clean and delicious Valentine's Day snacks, and I promised I would be back with something chocolatey. And so here it is. I am making my iced double chocolate black bean brownies. And I'm telling you, they are rich, decadent, and would be a beautiful way to express your love on Valentine's Day. Now, the fun of this recipe is that we are taking a dessert that would traditionally be chock full of refined flours and sugar and butter, and we are boosting the nutritional profile. So while this is not a low calorie brownie, it is a brownie that you'll feel good about eating. I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees and I'm starting with my dry ingredients. So into a nice big bowl goes three quarters cup of white whole wheat flour, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, which I like to sift first so that we eliminate any lumps. Then into my blender, we're gonna be doing the wet ingredients plus the beans. So I have one 15 ounce can of black beans that I drained and then rinsed, three quarter cup of water, three quarter cup maple syrup, and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'll pop on the lid and then blend that up. Now you're gonna notice that when this is done, it's still gonna be very liquidy and that's what you want. Really the whole purpose of the blender is to break the beans down. Then I'm gonna take that bean mixture and pour it right into my dry ingredients and gently mix this until we have a batter. And finally, I've got some chopped up walnuts and some chocolate chips. Now, both of these stirrings are 100% optional, but personally, I really like the crunch of the walnuts and then the extra sweetness from the chocolate chips helps to balance out the savory flavor of the black beans. Once I've got all of that stirred together, I am gonna transfer the batter into an eight by eight baking dish that I've sprayed down with a little bit of cooking spray. Then this is gonna go right into my 350 degree oven for 30 minutes or until it is set through. Now, while that is baking, I like to make the icing. And the icing is so simple to make. You only need four ingredients. So into a small bowl, I have a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, again, sifted to take away any of the lumps. And then I'll add two tablespoons of melted coconut oil, a quarter cup of honey to sweeten it, and then just a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Gently mix that all together and you're gonna see it turns into this thick, rich, shiny, decadent, chocolate icing that is going to be delicious on top of our brownies. Now, here is the catch. You have to make sure that your brownies have completely cooled before you ice them or else your icing is going to melt and the whole thing is gonna get really messy, right? So once the brownies have cooled, I just gently slather my icing over the top and then I like to cut them into 16 brownie bites. Mmm, 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 so good. It is rich, it is decadent, and they are chocolatey. I promise you, nobody will ever detect that there are black beans in their brownies. Now, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and share this video with anybody else you know who's looking for some clean and delicious Valentine's inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness and make sure to share this with anybody you know looking for some clean and delicious of Valentine's, for some clean and delicious Valentine. Treats you could feel good lady. Some feel good Valentine treats. All right, let's see. Um, so make sure that you whip up a batch for somebody you love and then share this recipe and this video with every single person you know. Okay, I'm yelling at them now, right? Okay.